What's going on YouTube? So uh, I have this 2008 Ford Explorer Sport Track that I bought about uh, two years ago. And uh, ever since I bought it, um, the um, heating and air conditioning wasn't working correctly. So I've been trying to troubleshoot it for the last two years. Um, I figured out that the blend doors were bad. Uh, the gears were stripped out and everything. So I replaced them or bought replacements for them. And um, I bought these. And then I even have another one off of Amazon. And uh, the thing that I did not know that has befuddled me for the last two years is that there's actually two different versions of these depending on whether you have the manual climate control system or in my case, I have the automatic climate control system. So um, I don't know why this wasn't on the forums. I'm sure it's out there somewhere. Someone figured it out. But um, someone finally hinted and, and suggested it in a posting that I posted after going through multiples of these and even replacing the heading and everything. So uh, the correct part number in my case is a, that's DA1131. That might be reverse, I don't know, DA1131. I bought this at O'Reilly's and uh, they actually sent me also, cause I needed two of them. I have uh, a Dorman I can hold this up here. A Dorman version. And the Dorman part number is 604207. So anyways, um, I I was able to actually plug it in um, at the dealership, or not at the dealership, at O'Reilly's. They let me do that. And what you got to do in order to do it is uh, I have all my stuff unplugged currently, so I'm just going to show it. Now, here's the confusing thing these the wrong ones will plug in to this plug it goes right in i can't do it i get i get too many hands or not enough hands or whatever but it'll plug right in that's what confused me because i thought well it's not the right part it's not going to fit right well no of course not we're going to just make it extra confusing so anyways uh i'm going to plug this in real quick and then i'm going to show you um how this uh works now you can test it Okay, so here's my, my correct one. This is the Dorman one. Yep. And it actually plugs in in a different location. So maybe that's how you're supposed to know for an automatic unit. It plugs into the side. Now, I'm kind of wondering if someone had tried to replace these doors before I bought the truck and they weren't having any luck with it or something like that. Um, maybe that's what was going on because... Um, I don't remember my plugs being different. I don't have the original ones that I took out of here. I tossed them long ago. But anyway, so I'm going to show you. So I plugged it in. I'm just going to turn the key on right here. And um, we're going to do uh, put the, the rig into self-test mode here. And um, to do that, I think it's going to be defrost in the front arrow. You press that and then hit auto. Okay, now we're in the self-diagnostic mode. And we'll look here, and you may not be able to see it, but I'm going to hold this here. And you'll see it's actually rotating. Two years to get to this point. All because I had the wrong part. See, now it's rotating back. Now, obviously, this needs to be um, in to actually do anything. Um, now, I'm still throwing a code 2266, which is the left side. I got to take that one apart. I don't have that one out and easily accessible. But I've had this one. Uh, the right side will throw a 2267 error if it's plugged in incorrectly, if it's the wrong one. Which these will throw a 2267 error. So, anyways, yeah. All right, so real quick... Um, this isn't the focus of my video, but I did want to demonstrate this. Um, replacing these blender actuators. There's a lot of YouTube videos already that you can watch that'll show you how to do it. But basically, you got to pull off this panel here and up underneath there is where the actuator sits and everything. And uh, th this probably the, the the ford manual whatever says to remove maybe all of this if you can remove this it would be um way easier um you can do it from underneath 
like there, you can see the actuator sitting it's right here. Um, it is a pain in the tail. Um, I have pretty small hands and I could just barely do it. I did it with an eight millimeter um, uh, box wrench or open end wrench, whatever. Um, so watch some other videos. It is possible, yes, you can get through all three screws. A lot of people give up on the third screw, uh, but if you have small hands like me, you can do it. It probably took me about two and a half hours to do both sides. And I, I, I would say the, the passenger side is probably the harder side, but honestly, they're both equally hard. But anyways, just thought I'd throw that out there. There are other YouTube videos of people doing it, showing you how to do it and everything. Uh, basically, there's three screws in there. And uh, you do have to get the, the motor uh, to turn in the right direction in order for you to be able to slide in to where the flap is um, or the, the damper plate is. And what I did is I actually would put the car or the truck into self-test mode and that actually turns the motor back and forth during the test mode. And then I would unplug it real quick when it got to the orientation that I thought it needed. It took several tries to try and get the correct orientation. Um, that's because the, the damper door either wants to be open or closed. It doesn't want to kind of, it won't stay in the middle. So it's not like you can kind of set that up and then align things. Um, the damper has to be, or the, the motor spindle has to be shaft, needs to be aligned to wherever the position of the damper door is. And that makes things a lot more complicated. That's just to get it in. And then the screws and everything, you can come in through here from the top, you pull these tabs down and this, the whole thing comes off, remove that. And um, you can't really get to anything, but you can at least put a flashlight up in there and that'll help you to see what's going on uh, down and up here. So anyway, just thought I'd share that. Um, Good luck. It's it's annoying. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy, uh, but it is possible. All right, so I hope to help you guys out. Um, again, there is a difference between the manual climate control version and the automatic climate control version. So if you're having troubles, um, double check the part numbers and double check it. And it's very critical that even if you put in the VIN number, um, you may not get the right um, it may not give you the right suggestion or anything like that. Like when I was buying these on Amazon, this one, it said it should fit. But um, what I missed was in the description, it said for, for manual only. I, I didn't even think there was a difference. So apparently for the manual version, the plug comes out the side like this. And for the automatic versions, the plug comes out the back. Um, at least in my case, who knows? There's so many different generations. Again, this is a Ford Explorer Sport Track. A 2008 limited. Anyways, uh, hope that say someone a ton of aggregation, aggregation, a ton of av, av yeah, whatever. I hope that saves someone a ton of frustration. Uh, with that, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, consider liking, subscribing. Take care. Have fun.